Ah, I hate the homies. There it is, man. What up, hey. player? <laughs> Ah, welcome back to I Hate the Homies podcast. My name is Rock Teasy for Sheezy. It's your boy Griff, and I hate the homies. And I'm Super Dave, but guess what? We, we don't, don't care. care. Yes, it is. Episode indeed. three, baby. Come three, on, number man. three. We made it. Let's go. Oh, we in here. We man. in here. Brought to you, Big Dog McDonald's, man. We got the quarter pounder breakdown coming up, presented by McDonald's. We're going to be talking about LeBron James Ooh. becoming the first active NBA player, Ooh. billionaire. Ooh. Oh, yeah. So that's going to be the McDonald's quarter pounder breakdown coming up later on in the episode. But uh, we got some good stuff, man. We're going to talk about NBA finals. Yes. Okay. We got DL Hughley and Monique. That's. <laughs> that's it's definitely a grip. It's Come on, a grip. That's on you. See right now. I know, man. man. Come on. We, we gotta talk about it. We, we gotta, gotta talk, talk about, about it. it. Of course, LeBron James. Uh, we got the Michael B. Jordan and Lori Harvey. Now, okay, yes, we'll save talk it, to that. We'll say it. yes, we're we gonna we'll get to it. it. And we're gonna try to get to Jada Pinkett Smith and her little old raggedy thing that she said. Dog, we're not gonna try. We de- we're gonna be very intentional about talking about Jada uh, Pinkett Smith, dog. She, right. That's happening today. Let's get it pop- Let's get it popping. We got NBA Finals going on Golden State, Boston Celtics. It was so cool to watch Golden State come back and rebound and win that game like they did. I watched the entire game. They were playing like they needed that win. And I think we all know now you said that was your team, Super Dave, and they don't shoot threes. They shot a lot of threes, dog. They (laughs) shot a gang of threes yesterday. They had to yesterday. Yesterday, they had to play the game the way Boston wanted them to play. They couldn't do them passing around. When, they, when they're passing, about and they're passing the ball around and they move so, so graciously on the court, they look great. But yesterday, it was all about the pick and roll, getting Curry out, making sure you get movement. that. Yeah, getting a lot of movement, getting that three-pointer out there. for, for But the one person we got to get back on track, we have to get him back on track, is Klay Thompson. They don't win this series if Clay can't get it together. I disagree. 15. I thought I was very excited about Draymond stepping up and oh, doing something, tough. but the way they shut down Al Horford, let's talk about their defense. Like, their defense was powerful, and Draymond going to be Draymond, but this was the game that he, all that yipping and yapping, now let's play. You know, let the shooter shoot, and that's what they did. I, I was very excited to be a, a Warrior fan yesterday. It was a good, good game. Wait, 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 wait. You were, you're a fan? Well, I'm saying I, okay, I, I, I wanted to sure. win the series. Okay. He's from right. Oakland, oh, you know, that whole up, West dog. Side or whatever. Oh, yeah, you but let's, let's back up. Let's back up. Uh, super Dave, you may have just lost your super you, title you again. You this Already? every single week, man. In Come on, man. At the, the beginning of the show, episode, let's go. Come you on. said – that the Golden State Warriors are going to be in trouble if Klay Thompson don't get back on track. They just won a game without Klay Thompson being yeah, on but track. That's one, but, track. Yeah, but that's one game, and Rock you gotta, T. You got the X factor. I know what you're going to say, Poole. Jordan Poole. But what happened, what happened in game one with Poole? He didn't show up in, in game one. So you need one of those guys to step up to help to help us. That was the point that I was about to make. As long as one of them two do they, yeah, what they got to do, they're going to be straight. Who's the guy that, that's been in that situation over and over and over again? It's Clay. But see, if he gets on that hot roll, man, 15 points. 15 points in game one. 11 last night. If, you, if he gives you 20, 25 points, they win this series easily. Let's not forget about Wiggins, bro. I'm not mad at Wiggins. Let's, let's not forget about Wiggins. That's defense. He, he's, 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 like, he, Wiggins, no, he's playing a great. He's playing a great defensive yes. game so far. But, but no, don't ignore no, his offense. His offense is it's okay. Don't put him up there with Steph and don't put him up there with Clay Thompson. Listen, listen. You guys don't understand. Well, maybe you, Griff, but Super Dave, you don't he understand. Don't my way. Uh, come on. Listen. The Golden State Warriors are going to win the, the championship because they have so many weapons. All of them don't have to be on no. at the same time. And that's the point. That's the point. Draymond only had nine points in, what, six, five rebounds? Like, that, seven assists? Like, that's okay. Wiggins had 11. Looney, the center, came in with 12 and, and seven rebounds. Curry going to get your 25-plus every time. And Clay only had 11. Now, the couple threes that he shot, yeah, they were cool and it was awesome. But, but well, I, the- I agree with Rock when he said everybody don't have to be on. They just got to be on. Like, you just can't now. Everybody's sitting around looking at Steph. Just looking at it. And that's what happened in the fourth. That's what happened in the fourth period in game game one. one. I I was looking around because they thought Steph, what, he came out with 21 points in that first half. Okay. And then what happened after that? See, let me tell you something about Boston in that game one situation. Listen, I picked Boston to get to the finals. 
They earned every right to Absolutely. be there. Absolutely. Okay? Absolutely. But they ain't going to shoot the ball like they shot in game one in the fourth quarter in every game. That's of not going to happen. They the conference. Of course they're not. So, so let's go ahead and just say, listen, big ups to Boston. I'm going to put it out there. Congratulations from being Eastern Conference champions. Yes. Congratulations. Don't do that. Right. Don't, no, do not jinx my team, man. Do not put it out well, there right now. Golden State's going to win. Man. No, I'm talking about uh, Golden State. He's finna, he's finna congratulate Golden State on winning the NBA Finals. Yeah, it's too early. And no, it's too early. Don't do that, dog. Don't do that right now. Y'all you remember what happened in Mavericks a long time ago when they thought they won it after winning two games? In 2006. No. Okay, then. Don't do that. And what happened after that? Please don't say Miami won four straight, right? Pretty much, but that's not happening this year. Don't do that, man. Let's move they on. Go, they go to Miami. They go to Boston and they play three games. They must win two of those games. Like Boston. They must win two I of those. Worry, games. bro. Golden State gonna win this thing. Like, kind of I don't want to go. I don't want to use the word easy, but they're gonna win this thing, man. It's like I on, think man. last don't night was important because they got to see how adjustments is everything. Okay, in that, and that's what I was about to say. Okay. It's game to game adjustments. It's just because Golden State looked great last night, you don't think Boston's going there? We're going home, first of all. And our role players are going to play a bigger factor at home than they do on the road. That's going to be the scary part for, for Golden State. Because if those guys get hot, like uh, Horford, uh, White, uh, those guys smart. Horford had two points last night. He had two night, points. Though. What? <laughs> it was bad Williams last night. Third had two points last yeah, night. Yeah, and Smart had Marcus two points. Smart had two they combined points for six night. points. A, a whole combination of six. And they went 15 for, what, 23 in game one on three-pointers. So since, we, since we're talking about being smart, do you think that was smart for Monique to go off on D.L. Hughley oh. like she did? Great you, segue, by the way. Like, come, I mean, <laughs> like, we got to get into this, Grim. You're, you're a comedian. So I, I got my thoughts, but let's start with you, man. I mean, everyone, unless you've been up under a rock, you didn't heard and seen what Monique did at the comedy show that she said she was the headliner, but D.L. Hughley was like, no, I'm the headliner. Look at the contracts. Speak on it, sir. This so, is your family. I talked to uh, Josh Adams was the host in Detroit. Great friend of mine. It was at the Fox Theater. Uh, just a, a an amazing venue to do comedy at. Uh, it was 5,000 people. It holds 5,000, but it was half full. So that's number one. Uh, number two, for me, in, in 2007, Monique's Comedy Club was the first comedy club that paid me. Like, I, I never been paid no money from no other human being except Monique's Comedy Club. So my loyalty with Mo mm -hmm. go there, right? But then when I taped Comic View, DL was hosted. You know what I'm saying? So I, I've known both of these people for so long, but it looks like Monique is being exposed as a troublemaker, dog. Like, is, you know, we, you and I sat and watched DL's 13-minute reply when he was at work on the radio. It was factual. He wasn't angry. Monique went on stage, talked about that man. Mama, his daddy, his dog. The wife. Like, like I mean, everybody. Oh, like, and, and then Corey Holcomb, another comedian, was like, yeah, she was doing all that, talking about DL because she ain't got no jokes. Now, I right. believe that part. When now, Corey said that. Now, what, we call, what we call that in comedy is he, stretch. He, he said, where the jokes? <laughs> yeah, where, where the jokes? And, and, and the jokes, and, and the jokes should have been, like, that was Detroit. Now, who cared? Now, I'm going to just tell you for me, and I was talking to some 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 other entertainers. Dog, when you on a show like that, everybody's a headliner. Everybody know how to do our. If, if, if in, in comedy, I feel like it's a time limit for comedy. Mm -hmm. Like, because you got to think, hour and 40 minutes, you can't laugh no more. Right. Your face hurt. The last person kind of get... <laughs> <laughs> Soft chuckles, dog. Like from from you in the beginning, go. Oh my God, that's all. By the time it's over, because now your cheeks hurt. Yeah. So now you like. <laughs> so for comedy, when we get there and say it's Rock T, Super Dave, Griff, we on the show. When we get there, I might say, "Let me go second. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then because nobody want to close. I might say, let me go first. I don't mind. I don't look at it as an opening act. No, 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 no. Especially when you have headliners. But then here go the bottom line. Go ahead. As long as my money don't change. That's Come the on. whole point. As long as it's the period. money don't change. If, if, if you're going to pay me headliner money and move me second, thank you, dog. Let me tell you something. If I'm going ahead of you and I kill it. Yeah. 
that's going to be a tough act to follow. Exactly. Versus you coming behind someone that just killed it. Right. <laughs> and I don't care how funny and cold you think you are, you coming behind someone. Follow some heat. Steve, yes. Hardy, Steve Harvey said it best in Kings of Comedy. Bernie Mac started, he was going off first to second at the beginning of the tour. And they had to And move. Bernie Mac was killing it in every city. Yes. Steve Harvey was like, okay, I'm the bigger brand. I was going last, but he's like, she, he like, yo, I'm going to go ahead and host. Right. He was smart by doing that. Right. Bernie Mac, you going last. Cause come, and all of them, DL, Seventh Entertainer, they always like, yeah, Bernie. You, There's you, nothing to talk about. So so we cool. So Steve Harvey, I'm just going to I'm going to open up. I'm going to tell my little old jokes. I'm going to host, introduce everybody, and let y'all do it. Brilliant. Monique is the... DL is the bigger brand now. Mm -hmm. Now, now she talking about everything I did. She had a show in the early '90s, but you know what I'm saying. She mm -hmm. was a brand back then. Mm -hmm. But who says I'm a queen of comedy? Still, like you talk about 1997, dog. Like no comedian is like you know. I ripped Def Jam. But you this, know, but like, this, you know what I mean. Like you, what are you doing right now? Yes, you was precious. Yes, you won an Oscar. Yes, you were depicted as a horrible mom, and you won the same way Denzel was depicted as a horrible cop. The same way Holly Berry was depicted as a horrible mom. Like so, you won an Oscar, but that's how they give us our Oscars. So let's get back to the jokes. Yes, you were a queen of comedy, and yes, you are one of the queens of comedy, but I'm with Corey Holcomb. Some more was the funniest on that on that thing. You know what I'm saying? All right, so we got Oprah Winfrey. We got Tyler Perry. Oh, yeah. We got Lee Daniels. Mm -hmm. And there's a few other people that's had problems with Monique. And there's an old Netflix. Netflix. <laughs> right. So eventually, you know, they don't have a problem with Monique. Monique no, got a problem, problem with them because she's not, getting, she not me, getting the money. It doesn't bring, matter. Which brings me to my point. Okay. If Bob have a problem with everybody, yes, Bob is the problem. Bob is the problem, and that's what sucks. And we love Monique. Monique. Is such a we love Monique, but she make you feel like the auntie and all that. Hey, you know, oh my loved ones, my my darlings, my beautifuls, my whatever. babies. My that's babies. where she. That's where she sucks you in. The bottom line is. Did she yeah. have did she have jokes that night? Yes. Because you don't bring your business, even if you have a problem with DL, you don't bring it out there to the audience. You still do your show. That stuff could be talked about in the back room. If that was two guys, you and another you guy talk about my in. wife and my mom and all that dog. Y'all fight back, y'all fight, y'all fight dog, back in the, then in the host okay, go then. on and then I'm me and you got words. Okay, then where did that come from? Now, did you hear she what? wasn't funny. Did you hear what Monique and her husband said after DL Hughley replied? She said daddy. She was like that's Listen, uh, DL Hughley, we're comedians. Those were jokes. Yes, I was give, I was handing you your your rear end, but those are jokes. So why are you getting so sensitive about jokes all of a sudden? Okay, right, comedians. Man. So she tried to pull she that tried, card. But how about here you go here go the card that she should have pulled a decade ago. You want an Oscar, Monique. You want a whole Oscar. It is it is human beings who are living off of the bold italics of oscar nominee mm. you know what i'm saying you won and you have truly blown all your like we like mo come on mo. i don't like getting anybody relationships but you know her right yeah was she like this in the 90s because somewhere somehow oh, something she, changed somewhere something and, happened and, and i'm just gonna put it out there it's the guy that was in the back of her doing her that last little thing she did about her husband uh, her, she daddy. called him daddy. Yeah, exactly. I think that's the problem. And you know him. Don't try to sugarcoat it. I ain't never met him, so I can't even really yeah, speak I, 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 But I know want, he knows. I actually want fat not working Mon working out Monique back. Okay, I then. want her back. She right. was fine. Like we all wanted to fight Luther yeah. back. Yes. Yes. Okay. Same yeah. way. Yeah. Yes. So there that is. That's how I would like to end that. I actually want Fat Mo back, uh, who wasn't calling everybody. You see, he didn't, you see he, didn't he didn't announce the question, Rock T. You see, he didn't announce the question. He knows it. He ran from that. He ran from that. Look at Tom. You the <laughs> homie of the week. <laughs> You didn't take it, man. All Stop right, it. man. Well, so since we already mad at females, let's uh go to Will Smith's wife. Ooh, we going there already? Jada Pit no, okay. Nope. <laughs> we 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 not gonna talk about Jada yet. I'm a little hungry. We, are you? I'm a little hungry, Jack. 
Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry, my bad. Go I ahead. Mean, you know what I'm saying? This is this, we got we got to get into this quarter pounder breakdown presented by McDonald's. Man, yeah. I hate the homies podcast. We love it, man. Your boy Rock Teasy, that's Griff, that's Super Day. Y'all know who we are, man. We're always amazed to go to McDonald's featuring their hot and juicy double quarter pounder with cheese. It's my go to. It's my homies go to. It's made fresh to order when you pull up, bro. Like, is this is it me or no, when I, y'all receive y'all's bags, there's steam in the bag. Right. It, well, well, not only the steam, but I actually love how they fold the paper. The little yellow paper that's around the it, quarter pounder yeah. is always so perfect. Yes, sir. Uh, pristine. Yes, sir. Uh. <laughs> but, can, but can we bring back the quarter pounder with cheese box? The box. Oh, I remember box. that. Oh, I love that. Hey, man. It's a new time. Trees, all that. Don't do that. <laughs> I the, love it, the, man. The, the, the quarter pounder breakdown is all about LeBron James, dog. Yes, indeedy, man. So, NBA billionaire. Let me go ahead and break this thing down for you, At man. At the age of 37. The first NBA active player billionaire. He's second NBA player of all time. We already know MJ, Michael MJ Jordan, did goat, it. Yes, but indeed. MJ did it after he was out the league. Mm -hmm. uh, that that counted for a lot of his dealerships and Nike, of course, and, uh, and Brand Jordan and everything else. But all we're talking that. about a dude in the NBA still right now. Come on, right man. Now. This, the whole billionaire, dog. <laughs> this dude, LeBron earned $121 million last year alone on and off the court. $387 million from the Cleveland Cavaliers, the Miami Heat, and the Lakers. And $900 million from other business ventures and endorsements, including a lifetime Nike yeah. sponsorship. Yeah. Okay, Blaze Pizza franchises, his video production company that product produces the Space Jam. television shows, the Space Jam. movies, Space documentaries. Jam, the legacy. Yeah, come yeah. on, man, LeBron. And see, everybody is Steph Curry's doing it, Kevin Durant's doing it. They all following his lead. But right. you know what people want to do? What? More, you just mentioned who the who the man was before him, Michael which Jordan. is Michael Jordan. Yeah. You see where LeBron is right now because he's doing it while he's playing the game. Right. When you look at the game, you look at the business side. You look at what he does off the court mm -hmm. do you still put mj as the goat period can i just say before you answer that can we shout out lebron's team can we shout out Mav the dudes Carter. who went to high school with him and played basketball with him and that's they a team said, you man know what? that's a team we're gonna pull back lebron said i'm gonna let i'm gonna put y'all through college to work for me come on bro his team you got preaching now you preaching now bro i love i when when has a human being done that hey man all of us play basketball yeah you got 19 a couple times but you know the sports illustrated is me and blah 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 how about this how about all y'all go to school and work and then y'all just run my businesses can't y'all see it right now i'm 18 y'all 18 brilliant. Let's, oh my god dog, i brilliant. absolutely love it brilliant. Dog. I brilliant love it dog <clears throat> and they got a school that's quiet as camp is amazing. Oh my goodness, man. The promise school is 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 listen, listen, LeBron, to answer your question, is he past the goat? Michael jo Michael Jordan. Yeah. You that's a trick question. Because on the court, it's still MJ. It's MJ. Okay, they have six be. rings. And all, now here we go. Now, Michael Jordan has done a lot of charitable stuff. That he, we don't know that about. We don't even know about. Okay, then. Because he, he wasn't. He wasn't big about. He wasn't yeah, big he wasn't about that kind of player. He was own. not shaking your hand after the game. He wasn't. He wasn't one of them players. Though. Right. <laughs> so I, Michael Jordan is still the goat on the court. Okay. Because mm -hmm. he changed the game, the way he played. He got his six rings. Now, there's been players that got more than six rings, but just the way Michael Jordan did it, in my opinion, he's still the goat on the court. LeBron James is probably going to shatter and pass all of Michael Jordan's statistics. Personal statistics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we'll have that conversation once he's finally done playing or whatever. But it's just something about MJ and what he stands for, how he how he became. He just changed basketball. Right. From the short He changed the shoe game. The shoe game. Yeah. Look at the shoe game. The shoe shoe game all that. And it's yeah, still going right now. LeBron is getting what he's getting because Michael Jordan okay, opened then. the door. Absolutely. All right, so the question, so to answer your question, is he Will Michael Jordan always be the GOAT to you because you're grown and you in that? Or are you ready? Are we are we ready as grown-ups to relinquish this power to I'm not, LeBron? I will not relinquish it. No. Okay. It's let's always going to be MJ for me. Let's okay. say LeBron James gets six rings. Now what do you say? I mean, now, right it. now, everybody, okay, he not going the, reason, he the reason why everybody will say Michael Jordan over LeBron now is because it's just they count rings. rings. Right. But let's just 
Let's just have this conversation. But let's but, let's count the money, homie. I mean, you can have these little rings that cost eighty thousand dollars, dog. I'm a billionaire. Come on, I'm a billionaire. I've made a legacy for my family. Do we ever hear Michael Jordan's kids talk about Michael Jordan? Do we ever hear Michael Jordan's son say, "My dad was such a great father. He was always." You know, he there may not be father me. of the year, but that's fine. But he's but he's still but is though. Maybe LeBron Michael Jordan at his son's games. LeBron at his daughter's events, like. Michael Jordan wasn't doing that, and I and and to, and to take and to, to go back piggyback on that, as a father, some things you have to uh, sacrifice for your family. Exactly. Like Michael Jordan sacrificed himself. I I I am who I am, so y'all could eat and live the way y'all wanted to, but you'll never see me. And I'm never shooting free throws with you in the garage. <laughs> so the question is, who, who got the happier kids? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's gonna be LeBron, but because, because Marcus Jordan did his best. Yeah, oh, yeah. Can you imagine? Who got the happier kids, dog? <laughs> Meanwhile, Bron Bron sitting around like, I love my daddy. Never really? He do. Uh, uh, he helped me with if, if MJ is buying the kids still, if he's supporting them and getting them cars and getting them houses and stuff like that. He's I'm still, sure Michael he, Jordan. He, he, he's, still, sure. he's still a great dad. He may not be doing great things. Great dad up. is strong. Great dad is strong, <laughs> dog. Keep it real, dog. Now, now, we great fathers. Yeah. Is Michael Jordan a great father? And if we've turned this into something else. Is Michael Jordan a great father? And are you mad at him? Do Did your sons have to be the sacrificial lambs so you could be Michael Jordan? Because they had to be, dog. And we don't yeah. know what Michael Jordan told his kids to say or not say. Yeah, but we don't know. But we ain't never. This is all I'm saying in my life. I ain't never seen Michael Jordan's kids, his son, say nowhere. You know, dad taught me how to shoot a three. And dad was always telling me how. Like, never. But they, but he, on, they may not I, want the spotlight. They might be. Yeah, but you don't have a choice. I'm pretty sure Michael Jordan was out there on the court. With his kids, and was interested like Mark. Mark and then he was missing free throws, and he was like, "Y'all ain't never gonna see me." And he left. <laughs> stupid, stupid, stupid. I believe that part. I believe that. Y'all didn't come out of my body. This ain't my son. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, look. Right, while we talking about uh, LeBron James and, and people that done came up, Michael B. Jordan and Lori Harvey have split. Right. They had a ten-year. Speaking of Michael, a, a ten-year gap, right? Different Jordan would it be? Um, he was thirty-five, she was twenty-five. Now, not to slander Lori Harvey's name, the girl got around now. She dated Puffy and his son. Okay, like that. You can stop right there, bro. Yeah, that's enough right there. <laughs> next, next story. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, come on, dog. <laughs> how you date? How you in the history goes. of dating? You don't think a dude want to date his girl mama? Like your mama, fine, dog. <laughs> like, bro, <laughs> listen, listen. Michael B. Jordan was sitting at the NBA Finals yesterday, looking crazy, dog. He looked jilted. He looked like a shook man. Yeah, come on, man. This guy's a director. He's he direct he's about to direct Creed 3, exactly. which comes out. You think he cares about no, I one think woman? He do care. Oh, and this is no. the problem. I think that 25-year-old threw it on him and he got sucked up like everybody else did because he did not win. Here you are, you're 35. You and your homeboy is working on Black Panther Part 2. Mar Y'all got Marvel deals. You got Netflix deals. You got uh, Amazon Prime deals. And you messing with a, a, a IG model? Okay, she got some makeup and some other stuff. I don't know, but he lost, dog. She won. She was the person. So you're saying... By and it's, and it's, a, it's, a, it's women... That would love women that I just feel like he lost dog. And then, you know, he wasn't always dating black girls. That's it. So, and, and guess what? I applaud him. It, what? For trying to get one or trying to go the other way. Sometimes it's good to go so the other way. So what you're saying indirectly, Griff, you could correct me if I'm wrong. Right. I'm about to. Trying to read between the lines here. Huh. He used to used to dating, you know, white girls in in other nationalities. Other nationalities, yeah. Filipino in the, 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 the Bay Area. He tiptoed back over to the to the dark side, trying to see what it is. And he got Jafar. He got Jafar you know, you know, <laughs> from Aladdin. So and now he, he ain't never <laughs> going back in that jean lab. Stupid lamp. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought you was saying. Stupid lamp. That's what I get. Come on, Every time I rub a lamp, Lori Harvey. You think he's sad? You think he's going through it right now? I think he's sad. I think I think at the game, 
he did not look as jovial <laughs> as he <laughs> as he normally looks. But then it all made sense because the next day they said him and his girl broke up. So guess what, dog? I feel like he lost. She won. She just she to to me she like a dude who going through saying. I want to date Janet Jackson. Mm -hmm. I want to date Madonna. I want to date uh, Tyra Banks. Right. I want. She, she got. She got a hot list. list. She got a hot list. Right. Starting with Puffy and his son. Now we know he's gonna win in a long run because he's he got now. everything. Oh. It, <laughs> he's winning now. Griff, you look. You in that position. You in that. No. You in that position. You lose it or you lose Lori. Lori Harvey. Yeah, you're going. You but no. What I'm saying tonight. is, you have the money. You have the resources. To go find somebody else. It's gonna look way out, better though. than her. This is just me, and then maybe y'all can email us and tell us whatever. If I know that Shaq, you went out with Shaq, that you went out with two running backs from the Falcons, that you went out with Why well, get uh, around there? I, know I, that. I do not want to date you, dog. I don't want to know. So my wife, yeah, she got kids, but to me, she was dropped from heaven as a virgin, dog. Yeah, right. you got four kids. I don't, but to me, a right. virgin. Right. right. I don't. I don't I want to know back. how many people you was with. I don't want. But to me, God, thank you for blessing me with this lady who who is just for me. Now, if I find out that Rock T went with her and Super Dave went with her, you become very unsexy, dog. <laughs> and that's the nicest way I can say it. You hella unsexy. Well, speaking of speaking of un unsexy. Jada Pinkett Smith, okay. who we all at one point in time was like, yo, you know what I'm saying? When she was woo, on you know, different world, <laughs> on different world, different too. World. Oh my God. You know what I'm saying? I you love know, us and Jada. The, the younger Jada. Yeah, the you younger know? Jada, dog. It's like. And then when she was on that show with the girls trip, she was looking very creepy in the face. Yeah, dog. she was. Her and Lil Kim. That kind of a cat look. It was very that cat. Kind of just, see, all she needed was some whiskers, dog. It was tough. <laughs> <laughs> it was tough to. Now, 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 I know she Baltimore to the fullest, and we love the East Coast, Jada, and we always love the little short, light-skinned, fiery, pretty, hazel eyes. Mm -hmm. But what did she do to that man, dog? Listen, man. What I did she do to Will Smith, dog? Man? She it is. How about this? Are they in an open relationship, or is Jada in an open relationship? <laughs> that's what it sound like. That's because, what it sound like. Because let's talk about the August, the August incident, the, the entanglement. Right. Yes. Will look shook, though. Will look like what he was happening in my life oh, yeah, right now. Real. Yeah, Will didn't have the oh, yeah, you know, young deal, you know. But you don't want to know what I did. Like he ain't had that kind of swagger. He was the victim. You understand me? And I feel like I feel like there's there's here. Let me tell y'all something about the Bible. Yeah, he was humiliated. Thank you very much. That's the word I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. In the Bible, we have been taught at church that. Jezebel, you got a Jezebel spirit if you got red uh, fingernail polish and if you, uh, you know, you a Jezebel if you sleep with dudes, but that is very not accurate. Jezebel was a queen. She wasn't sleeping around with nobody. She didn't have a whole bunch of dudes that she, she had one husband and she was a mannish queen. She told her husband what to do all the time. That's the Jezebel spirit. Okay. So I feel like she has a Jezebel spirit that Will can't win. So she's Jada Bell. Uh, she, you, <laughs> that's, I mean, that's called the funniest it, we, thing. We call it what it is, man. She, Jada Bell. She spirit. got something on Will. She do. Because Will Smith, listen, we don't know what's going on behind closed doors. Of course doors. not. Okay. Just what we heard we, the last we, we 28 hear, years. Yeah, right. <laughs> He ain't wearing the pants. He right. not wearing the pants in that house. But it's something. I mean, his something. son ain't wearing the pants. Well, that's what either. I mean. Go, okay, no then. In the house he wearing, wearing pants. pants. Okay. okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but come on, Will. Like the Will that we know. I have. I, I. I haven't had a chance to meet Will Smith and have a conversation with him. I actually sat down with him a bunch of times. Had dinner with him, and he was always cool and funny and vibrant and he knew who he was i felt like this brother yeah knows who he is and dog. very he confident need, he don't need you to say oh that's what he knows right he's will smith so it's like whatever whatever handcuffs or voodoo whatever you want to call it that jada got on will and i'm trying my best not to bash jada right because we don't want to one thing that we don't want to do all the time is bash our own people absolutely not but doggone it giving you're not you, giving you, us no room you're not, right you're like come on like that that little raggedy confession slash whatever you call what she did on the table on the red table talk 
you so for the people that don't know what we talk it. about, I mean, you really didn't. Recently, Jada Pinkett ended her show and said, "Now to address the Oscar night." I hope these two men come together and they can move. These two men, your husband. Right. You were supposed to say, my husband. No wife in the history of relationship is going to let their husband act a monkey come on. on the biggest night of their life. Come on. Like, no wife. When he started to get up, okay, I'll even give him this part. Maybe she ain't know he was going to go slap Chris. Right. Okay. okay. Right. When she when he sat when back he down, sat though. down, she should have been. Face towards him going, Will, yeah. what's happening? Yeah. Or even when he was talking, she should have been hitting him under the table. Like, hey, not right now. But she just looked off like, yeah, yeah, it's the look off for yeah. me. I didn't appreciate her not to. She left her husband out there naked, dog. Come on, we, dog. We, we supposed to be married. Look, you supposed to cover. Who covering but me? That, but that goes to show you, and this is some of what we see now. With the new woman in the house. I mean, we don't see, I mean, most women now want 50-50. I don't think it ever be 50-50. That's me well, saying this. Oh, no, no, I'm about being true. Be first part, first part, part marriage, no. it's gotta be 100 uh, hundred. Male chauvinist says what? One I say, I say it's 60-40. No, it's gotta be 100 who? The man in that household. No, I'm the man. Be, no, no. It's gotta be 100 100 no, no, it's not rock. Please, oh, no. On. Let's let let's let this little fella dig a little well. No, I think in the, in the end, when we look at it, we look at the history, look at your father, look at your mother, look at the same thing with my family. The father led that household. And I think Agreed. right now, people are getting away from that because what we see is women want to be in control of the house. Because what's going to happen when you go 50 50 or what you said 100 100? Be, they have been forced to. No, but if you, if you have a true have man, now if, you have a, if you have a true man in that house and he's taking care of his duties as a as a husband, as a father, then he should be the head of the house. Well, I ain't just talking about some Rudy Poop guy in the streets. I'm talking about a guy taking care of business. It should be 60 40 because what's going to happen when y'all make a decision and right now it's 100 and 100 and somebody says, well, which way are we going to go? Who's going to lead that way? It should be well, you leading the way. I, I will lean toward a couple points for because if a fight jump off, I have to fight. Like, you're not going to protect me. And if your wife is protecting you, then that's better for you. We just talking we just talking overall, dog. You don't want to be saying it should be 60 40 no, I'm, in a I relationship because I'm a man. Don't do that, dog. Hold on. You I gotta, gotta be able to back ground. that up, Rock T. Yeah, so hold on. First of all, for the record, everybody, if you don't know everyone's voices yet, right. that was Super Dave was talking. Super Dave. And I stand by it. I'm not running away so, from it. Let me, so I don't all the way disagree with everything you say. Exactly. Yes, the man exactly. got to be the man in the house. But if you want a healthy, happy relationship. You're never going to have that in a marriage. Oh, never. sure you oh, can. No, no, oh, sure you can. Don't do that. No, sure you can. It's a roller coaster. Okay, let me tell you something. And this is a shameless plug. If you guys want to learn more about this, you can go follow me on my uh, Perfect Pair podcast with me and my wife. We talk about happy being perfect for each other. I just heard yeah. y'all talking about that recently. Too. Absolutely, man. So there's no such thing as a perfect relationship, but there okay. is a such thing as being perfect for each other. Has I Have I made mistakes in our marriage? Yes. Have my wife made mistakes? Yes. We've made, but what we've learned to do is okay we got to be a team we got to be together as one it can't be 50 50 because why do i want 50 percent of my wife why does she want 50 percent of me Agreed. i want 100 percent of her yes. and she deserves 100 percent of me on, and if dog. i'm giving 100 percent into the relationship and she's giving 100 percent into the relationship we gonna ride together and there ain't gonna be it's gonna be less drama it's gonna be less negative issues we're gonna always be on the same page now is there times where I got to put my foot down and keep it down and she got to ride my and ride with me? Yes. All right. Then. All right. There's going to be times that she got to put her foot down and I got to ride with her. I can't win every battle. She can't win every battle. And I try long, to win every battle. As long, as, as, so, try to? Yeah. Super Dave, are you really married, dog? Or are I you, am married. I'm happily married. Family, dog. I don't believe, dog. I, I am happily married. What are you talking about? I'm not, no, I'm. And then when you're talking about a hundred, a hundred, it should be one ten, ninety. One ten to me, ninety to her. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, so this is the perfect pair of podcast. You can pick which homie you hate today. <laughs> Maybe it's Griff. Maybe you ain't like my Jada Pinkett, Monique. Maybe it's Rock T. Maybe you ain't like his Boston uh, Warrior. 
or maybe, maybe it's Super Dave, the man of the house, who is from a, a 1955 <laughs> Quantum Leap, who just Quantum Leap from, you don't want to from go Lucifer to, to Beaver Neighbor. Yeah, they changed the time. I'm trying to change it back to what it used to be. Dave, Super Dave stand for Super Dinosaur, dog. You, <laughs> you are a trilobite, dog. You should, Super Dave an image of you in concrete. Super a million years from now, unga bunga bunga day. So, but Davey don't want to get spanked when he get home. <laughs> That's what I want when yes. I get home. And that while one ten of me saying yes. While y'all uh. record and listen to your favorite podcast, when you listen to podcasts, can somebody send Super Day's wife a link? Because I just feel like if she hears some of this, yeah. her spirit going to be different in the next episode. <laughs> it will like, never from change. The from the beginning of the next episode, he's going to say, guys, guys, before we talk about anything. <laughs> that would never happen. 50 no. is a very, very fair. <laughs> That would never happen. Hey, Y'all <laughs> tell a friend to tell a friend, man. To make sure they check out I Hate That Homies podcast. You always want to download. You want to subscribe. Go tell three or four people. Let them know. And we don't mind if you hate one of us. Because uh, guess what? We, we don't, don't care. care. I'm Rock Teasy. It's your boy, Griff. I'm Super Dave. But guess what? We already said that, bro. Said it. Oh, wait, we said it again. We asked, we I just wrote this 110 right now. Let's say it again together. Ladies and gentlemen, we will see y'all in the next episode. Oh, I guess I don't have that 110 here. Ray Duggan, <laughs> close us out. <laughs>